Hi, I'm Brennan Donnelly, and this is Water Polo. What's up, guys? It's Brennan Donnelly, uh, back for episode two of uh, Teaching Guys Water Polo. Today, we are not going to need the ball. Um, we're going to start kind of basic. Uh, you saw last episode, we were working on moving with the ball, swimming with the ball. Um, I forgot to put swimming with the ball in hand in there, but we'll squeeze that in somewhere else. Um, today we're going to work on moving laterally and covering space uh, without a ball. Which is very important in water polo. You have to be able to get over your legs quickly to play defense and offense. Um, and it's especially useful for six on five. Eventually I want to try and film a video where I sit down and explain to you guys like the tactics of water polo. But for now we're just going to stick with uh, in the pool things. So let's get this video started. So one of the most important kicks in water polo, or actually fun skills in water polo, is being able to egg gear and brushstroke kick. So you guys know brushstroke kick is just both legs, you're just big, uh, powerful kicks. Egg beater is basically brushstroke, but you're gonna bob less in the water. So if you wanna stay up at an elevated height for a longer time, it's like brushstroke one kick at a time. So you're moving and you're keeping yourself at an elevated level. So egg beater, it's kinda what it looks like this, the general gist can see under the water it's basically um, a brushstroke kick one leg at a time you're trying to make big circles with your feet pushing the water down try and get your knees as high as you can close to your chest and uh, your hips f far apart higher your knees and the further apart your hips the more water you're pushing and the higher and longer you can sustain it in order to get as high as you want in the water you're gonna egg beat as high as you can and once you get to your highest point big brush to kick up and lunge up. Um, so for the first drill, we're gonna be egg beatering and then big brush to kick and then a big brush to kick forward. So these are gonna be up and forward lunges, like so. Those are uh, up and forward lunges, they're good for covering space reaching for maybe a loose ball or uh, covering a defender that uh, is far away. Big part of that drill is make sure you're also sculling with your hands. Sculling is just pushing the water back and forth as hard as you can, trying to uh, get as much momentum as you can going up. And then when you lunge, you're gonna take a big brushstroke kick, throw that hand forward, and with the opposite hand, push back and uh, try and get as much momentum you can going in the direction you want. Now I'm going to show you guys the opposite of that. It's going to be uh, going up and lunging backwards. This is especially useful for when uh, you're playing defense. If the, you lunge up for a ball is what you're imagining, you miss it, and then you have to go back. Usually, uh, I'll explain uh, a little deeper in this later, but if there's a shooter out on the perimeter and you're going up to try and get the pass and they pass over your head to the whole set, you want to be able to get back very quickly and cover space efficiently and quickly. So here's uh, up and backwards. Very useful for uh, help defense. Another skill you want to be able to have in water polo, aside from moving forward and backwards and up, is you want to be able to move sideways. Sideways, you want to be able to cover and shot block one way, cover shot block the other way. Useful for X3 and six on five and uh, also useful for defense in general. So let me show you guys uh, lateral lunges. For lateral lunges, you're uh, egg beating as hard as you can. You want to get up big, make sure you're scrolling with both hands. And when you're ready, take a big breaststroke kick to one side. Push with the opposite hand and reach with the other one. Then reset, make sure to get your hips under you. Egg beater up big, breaststroke kick in the direction and push with the opposite hand. Another very important part of defense, maybe the most important part of defense is being able to shot block properly. So in order to shot block, you're gonna take a match, you're gonna match the hand of the uh, offensive player. So if they're ready and you're facing them, you're gonna mirror them and use the left hand. So your left hand, you want to get that hand nice and wide, as wide as you can, right above your head. Make sure uh, they can't shoot over your head. And then for this drill, we're going to go right, left, up, right, left, up. 
because once that shot comes, it's gonna come quickly. So you need to be able to get to the ball really quick and try and block it. There's two ways to shot block. You can either be shot blocking in a regular position. So you're gonna be sculling with that uh, front hand that you're not using. You're gonna be mirroring with the shot block hand right over your head. And then you're gonna be egg beating. Let me show you guys real quick. Start this way. Make sure you cover all the shots that can possibly come and make sure you're uh, trying to keep the ball away from your goalie, help your goalie out a little bit. And water polo, some of the things that amazes non-water polo players the most is what we call giving water um, or backwards treading. So basically we're going to be horizontal to the surface, get your hips up as high to the surface as you can and you're going to move toward your feet with your feet forward and you're gonna be pushing back with your hands and with the top leg, you're gonna pull as hard as you can. It's gonna take a lot of tries if you're trying at home. Um, nobody can really do it right on the first try, but eventually it'll become muscle memory like most things. And that also leads me into the second way we can shop lock. Uh, you're gonna put your, give water essentially. You're gonna be moving toward that shooter. And if you get that hand up, you can move toward them and shot block simultaneously. Another way to make the drill even better, giving water drill even better, is give water till about half pool while uh, your opposite hand is up. And then you're gonna get up really big, switch hands, and come down on the shooter. So if you're playing defense, you're moving, 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 get up, and then come down, knock the ball into the hands, hopefully. Let me show you guys two times. It's very disruptive for a shooter who's trying to get a good shot on goal and a very effective way to play defense. So if you're just learning about water polo, uh, there's a lot of rules. Um, for example, you have to only touch the ball. You're only allowed to touch the ball with one hand unless you're a goalie. Um, and also, Unfortunately, right now, uh, I don't have a pool that's deep enough so that I can't stand, but in regular water polo, you cannot touch the bottom. So it's all about being able to tread and swim and uh, move without the use of the bottom of the pool. So I'm standing a few of these drills, but it's only because I can't really, uh, I can't egg beater without hitting my feet on the bottom. So a lot of the drills I just showed you are useful on defense. Uh, covering space is very, very important for six on six and six on five defense. I'll get into that, that later when uh, I explain water polo. Um, but these drills are very helpful. Just keep grinding at them if you're going along with me. If you're just watching, thank you for stopping by. Um, tune in next time and we will show you, I think, ball handling drills, vertical ball handling drills. It's going to include egg beater. It's going to include uh, sculling. Um, good workout. See you next time. Hey.